why are you running away from your country which you are saying is beautiful and you are coming to South Africa. I can see hundreds of comments talking about, oh, he's on his way to South Africa. We don't want you here. Stay in your country. Okay. Hi guys. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Samson, the roadman today. Um, I want to share with you guys my, uh, something that has been bothering me for quite some time now. Um, I do travel videos and, uh, I've been doing it in Zambia for some time now, locally. Uh, of course, we intend to start going out and uh, explore other countries uh, because that's what travel and the tourism content creator is all about. Um, so, I've been doing a number of... Uh, let me just uh, go straight into today's video because I don't want to waste much of your time, guys. So, I've been doing a number of um, some videos, traveling videos around uh, Zambia. Um, so there was this time, like uh, about four months ago, yeah, should be four months ago if I'm not mistaken, that should be May, um, there was an African, one of the best African YouTubers that we have um, here, he's called uh, Ayamarwa, was doing his, you know, tour of Southern Africa, so when he came to Zambia, we actually followed him to Livingstone, so that we can actually meet him and, you know, share ideas so uh when this guy came we met him in, in livingston here in zambia and we did a couple of videos with uh, with him okay in one of the videos i went to the border between uh, the bridge that connects zambia and zimbabwe the bridge is called uh, uh victoria falls bridge it's a very beautiful bridge very old bridge but still very strong now uh, when I was there, I, I did I made a video, a very short video, about one minute, and uh, that video I actually posted it on my uh, on my Facebook, on my YouTube, and on my TikTok. So the video is all about me uh, showing people like I stood, you know, where I could I, where I could like, I was facing this other side, and in my background there was the beautiful Victoria Falls. Uh, clearly uh, in the background but then I actually said here are the exact ways which I actually use so that I don't I don't actually get uh, bashed even here I actually said I pointed at Zimbabwe and said look how beautiful this country is and then I turned the camera to Zambia and said and look at how beautiful this other country is guys you need to visit this place it's an amazing place and stuff like that blah 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 that's what i said okay but then i started getting a lot of reactions from people from south africa now you may wonder why does south africa come into play here how does South africa come into play when i was basically let me actually uh, before i even go even further let me show you guys the video which uh, I did so that you also have your say, you know. Hey guys, I'm here at uh, the Zambia Zimbabwe bridge. It's a beautiful, beautiful bridge. But I want to I want to show you guys something. Take a look behind me there. Can you see the mighty Victoria Falls and the smoke that is basically thundering? Look at how beautiful this country is. Look at how beautiful this country is. So I'm literally coming from like. Zambia, you see there. So Zambia here, and uh, look at that. So this line here is Zambia, yeah. And then I'm basically in no man's land here, and I'm actually going to get into Zimbabwe illegally. Wow, guys. <laughs> All right. So that's that's basically the video. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll look at the comments later because I received a lot of hateful comments uh, which I think were unnecessary. You know, a lot of talking has been going on, especially between among the three countries, which is Zambia, Zimbabwe and South Africa. And the main conversation there is that um, we, Zambians and Zimbabweans, have been trooping to South Africa illegally. Okay? But then, um, so there are a lot of comments in that, under that video, 
that we're talking about that okay so i'll, I'll get to, to to read some of the comments guys they're, they're very hateful comments such that um on, that was it on tiktok to be clear that was on tiktok because the video went viral uh, i think it reached about uh 422 000, uh views but uh, most people that viewed it were from number one was from south africa number two zimbabwe and number three of course zambia okay now the controversy comes in where South Africans were telling me, you know, where I find an issue. It's actually where South Africans were actually telling me to say, look, you are standing there on that uh, bridge which you are saying is beautiful, but why are you running away from your country? Coming to South Africa for that matter. Why are you running away from your country which you are saying is beautiful and you are coming to South Africa? Now, in my lifetime, I've only been to South Africa once um, when I went to perform as an artist. Um, that's the first time I went to South Africa and I've never stepped my foot there again. I enjoyed my time there. It's a beautiful country. It has amazing, amazing uh, places that I would love to visit even now. Now, the issue is I was doing a video on the bridge why should someone assume that I'm actually traveling to South Africa? Okay, I can see hundreds of comments talking about, oh, he's on his way to South Africa. We don't want you here. Stay in your country. My question is, why does South Africans have so much hate for other African people? Why does South Africans hate other Africans? In my own understanding, when I look at the way South Africa is, South Africa is still a, is still a baby. You know, South Africa is still under a colony, if I put it that way. Now, I know others will get hit by some of these uh, words that I'm going to use, but South Africa is still a baby, for your own information. South Africa is under colony, still under colonial, if you may, if, 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 I, if you want to be strict. Only... And now on this one, I'm not going to say a few South Africans, but most South Africans hate other black people. If there's a country in Africa which hates other Africans, it's number one, South Africa. I know there's another country, it's a very small country on the on the on the northeastern part of Africa, which also hates blacks. To them, they even call themselves as whites. Very small country. I'm not going to mention the names, but it's in the northeast of Africa. Okay, anyway, so the issue is South Africans, really, really, guys, they hate other Africans. Most South Africans, only a few, don't hate other Africans. All right, so let us look at some of the comments uh, on this particular video, guys. So the first one says, uh, uh, turn around and go home. Don't come to South Africa. So this one says, I'm fine in South Africa. I will never go anywhere unless I go to the UK, USA or Dubai. All right, so this one says, uh, as South Africa, I don't understand why my fellow citizens don't see that we are one until they do business across the continent, they would understand. So this other one says, where are you going? You know, of course, assuming I'm going to South Africa. So this other one says, as South Africans, we will join you guys later. We still want to get our house in order first. This other one here says, are you a tourist guide or where are you going exactly? Or where exactly are you going? So this other one here says, that's a good thing to you, but not here in South Africa. This one says, as a South African with a functioning brain, I wish to visit Zim and many of our neighbors, we are one. So look at this one. So this one says, all the criminals from neighboring countries are coming to South Africa because they can't find work in their own countries. Okay, see some of these. You can see all these hateful comments here. Like you, since the upeli leapo, meaning stop. So this one says. Uh, so why don't the Zimbabwean go to 
why don't the Zimbabweans go to Zambia since it's an open border? Why prefer South Africa? Okay. So this one says, uh, are you also committing crime in Zambia? Because here in South Africa, yeah, we can't allow that, bro. Sorry. This one says, uh, where are you going? Probably South Africa. This one says, please don't come to South Africa. Let's look at this other one. It says, if it's beautiful, why don't you live in it? The other one also says, that country of yours is beautiful, but you can't stay there. So this other one says, on his way to South Africa. Okay, and why are brothers from Zim not just jump to Zambia for greener pasture? Why do they, why do they risk their lives jump into dangerous South Africa? So this one says, so why are you going through crocodile infested river to come into South Africa? Just stay where you are. Be happy. This one here says, beautiful, why is your people flocking to South Africa? Now, it's not only me. I'm sure I, some of you guys that are watching have also have I've also had these encounters with uh, South Africans on your on your post or maybe when you were there in South Africa physically. Just like uh, the other day, uh, I think a few a few weeks ago actually, one of the, a very good uh, Kenyan YouTuber, a young lady from Kenya, was traveling, also doing uh, rounds like the Southern African tour, you know, like visiting all the Southern African countries, showcasing their beauty to the world. But guess what? One of the complaints, despite the fact that South Africa is a very beautiful, beautiful country, one of the complaints that she had was that South Africans hate other Africans. And the moment she introduced herself as I'm Kenyan or I'm from Kenya, people started giving her these attitudes, bad attitudes, like we don't want you here. You know, that kind of attitude like, oh, she's come to stay. Ah, he has come to stay. First, my question to South Africans is, what makes you think you are so special? You know, what makes you think you are so special than other Africans? Some of us, anyway, being uh, travelers, uh, we, we, want to, we want to feel like we are in our country when we are within our continent, you know? We want to feel, but if you start behaving in that way, forgetting the fact that uh, actually there are other countries, other nations that actually played a very vital role for your liberation, in your liberation struggles, and Zambia is one of them. Zambia played a very a key role in uh, in the liberation of South Africa from the colonizers. Okay, some of you may not know, but uh, if you have followed history, Zambia in Southern Africa is one of the countries that played a very, very big role in uh, liberating these other African countries on the southern part. I did a video just a few months ago. I did a video of um, a safe house that used to belong to Oliver Tambo, which Kaunda, KK, he actually gave a house to Oliver Tambo as a safe house, a house where he spent almost 29 years right here in Zambia, hidden when the whites in South Africa, when those colonizers in South Africa were looking for him, he was here in Zambia, hiding, organizing everything that was happening in South Africa. He was the president of the ANC, organizing everything, all the activities whilst in Zambia. They looked for him, they came to Zambia, they never found him, but he was here. Tabombeki, he was here, Tab. He was here in Zambia. Go and check out that video. It has lots of history about how he used to, 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 to spend his nights there. How his so-called bodyguards were there with the machine guns. Waiting that one day the South Africans are going to find him. They never did. They never did. That house in Avondale. So that was a house where a lot of activities actually in South Africa 
all the the the, the so called uh, the umkonto wesizwe it was being funded by the ank president from here from zambia here tabombek the new guys if you go to mtendere actually mtendere your former president jacob zuma he was there mtendere here in lusaka zambia that's why he used to live jacob zuma Do you know why Nelson Mandela visited Zambia first after being released from the Robin Island? He came here to thank Zambia first for all the for all the so-called uh, 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 support that Zambia was actually rendering to to South Africans. if those if the tabombekis the jacob zumas all these other freedom fighters if they were living in south africa within south africa during those the struggle for independence they would have been finished they have been gone to jail all of them others killed but kaunda and zambians felt that this guy so called tabombeki is a future leader for South Africa. So he got him. He said, "Come. You're going to hide here." So that's that was the issue. All these activities for that were being done by the ANC mostly were being uh, coordinated from uh, the safe house here in Lusaka Zambia in Avondale. All the funding and stuff went through the, the that safe house and all the activities were actually done in South Africa while all the the so called uh, leaders or future leaders of South Africa were here they were organizing everything right here in Lusaka if we want we would have sought them out but we are the ones that actually caught them so that they can actually be here safe and they did they were here safe until the independence okay but now apart from that i would like to i, I look at the whole lot of this issue as um, as something that is um, not okay like for south africans to be uh, you know to give people these attitudes like oh you're a foreigner whatever they, they see that is a foreigner they think is there to stay zambians we have known peace for so long such that we don't even know that we've got problems okay so okay so just for your own information I don't think there's a Zambian that you'd see in South Africa. They may be there, but I don't think there are many Zambians in South Africa that are there illegally. I don't think there are even more than 2000. Okay? Uh Zambians as Zambians we've known peace for so long such that we we can't complain. We've never seen somebody die of hunger here in Zambia. We've never seen uh people go for days without eating. That's what I mean. We have at least even if somebody is not working at least they'll find some food to eat by the end of the day. Why? Because Zambians have been working really really extra hard from the time they got their independence, been working really really hard. So we know how to hustle, we know how to work. And uh, you may wonder why do people think of South Africa? South Africa has this big economy. That's a fact. In 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 Africa, it has this one of the big economies in in, in Africa. but the people the black people of south africa mostly most of them don't want to work okay now that one will hate somebody but i know most of them don't want to work and uh, that's why you find the people like zimbabweans uh, nigerians when they come to south africa they get rich why because they hustle hard these are these got their independence earlier before you and they are working really really hard they know they they have realized that the only way you can get rich or maybe the only way you can earn or survive in this world is by working extra hard like hustle 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 and a zimbabwean is good at that one a nigerian is good at that one a zambian is good at that one so these people they understand that this work that needs to be done for them to get rich or to have a better life they have to work 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 and that's why if they come to south africa they see opportunities because most of you south africans you always want to party you go out partying and you think that's that's the way it's supposed to be every time you want to enjoy life 
okay you want to have fun every time even if you are living in a ghetto you're not thinking of going out to work you're thinking of maybe attacking someone grab their money and that's it you can't think of working really hard so that you improve your life but this boy they come to south africa that's their aim is to improve their life not via shortcuts but in a clear clear normal way by working hard coming up with businesses doing businesses and improve their lives that's all they come there to do if those are illegally there that's another issue for me but my issue is south africans need to stop like attacking other africans whoever whichever african they see without even asking for their passport or for their documentation you just think you see oh somebody tells you i'm from zambia then you begin giving them attitude somebody tells you they are from kenya you begin giving them attitude do you know what the reasons why they are there that young lady I was just talking about from Kenya she started now you know like telling people whoever whenever she introduces herself she introduces herself like this oh hi my name is this and this I'm, I'm from Kenya I'm visiting I'm a tourist I'm visiting I'll be going back to Kenya so that they can now that's why you see the the faces of Africans uh, brighten because they know oh, she'll be leaving very soon but is that the way is that the normal way you'll be treating us as other Africans why do you think is south africa is so special why do you think south africa is so special there are other countries that are doing far much better than south africa but why should south africa south africans hate other africans why should they hate other africans and they think it's it's okay it's okay just because they've got a million of uh Zimbabweans that live there illegally than any other African that you see around and for that matter me I was just in Zambia actually I was still in Zambia making my own videos and then you come on my post and you begin to shout no he's he's coming to South Africa hey these guys they're running away from poverty which poverty they are running away from this and that which this and that I can I, I I can tell you in South Africa there are people that go for days without eating. We you never see that happen in Zambia. Mm -hmm. You never see that happen in Zambia. Why? Because of Zambia still has a young population and Zambians are hustlers. Okay? Zambia still has a young population so the government is able to 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 help all those that are that may be experiencing hunger. Or if there's a hunger situation, God is able to buy enough food and feed those people. But in South Africa, there are parts in South Africa where people go for days without eating. Okay? Then what makes you think I'm running away from poverty? What makes you think I'm running away because of uh, 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 my economical situation? No! Come on guys, I'm a content creator and I move around to show people the beauty of Africa. And you are mistaken if you start thinking, ah, whenever somebody does a video or in South Africa or some other place in which looks like they're en route to South Africa, you begin shouting, you know, posting all this nonsense that you do on people's videos. I never expected that at least to come from South Africa because, wow, well, I've never, like the first, the, the day I went to South Africa, I never experienced such kind of a thing. And I've been, uh, I have quite a lot of friends in South Africa, South Africans and others are Zambians, of course. But if you ask me, I've never seen as an illegal Zambian in South Africa. I know they are there, but I've never met one. I know they're there, but if, even if they're there, they're not as many as others may actually portray it. Okay, so that's about um, this issue of South Africans. I think for me, we need to embrace the Ubuntu uh, sort of... Uh, uh, thing because it's what keeps us going as Africans. If we are going to begin like attacking each other as Africans, or if we are going to create camps like South Africa versus Africa, where do we go? Why should that be the case? Why should we attack each other? We are brothers and sisters in in, in the first place. Now, just because on paper one country seems to be doing better. Maybe it's because geographically it's it's located in a good good area. 
Mm. Then you start thinking we are the best. We have everything. What I can tell you is that that's why some of us we usually uh, we we support the idea of uh, the African Union, the, the the United States of Africa, like uniting the whole lot of African countries. Why? Because South Africa may have diamonds, may have platinum and stuff. Zambia will have copper. These other countries may have uh, diamonds, may have uh, uh, like Botswana and Namibia. They've got diamonds there. Come to to Kinshasa, to Congo. Sorry, they've got copper. They've got diamonds. They've got all these nice, nice minerals that can actually pro propel Africa to another another beautiful level. That where we where we will be able to enjoy our lives together. But if you know that even if all the whole lot of this may happen, and we can have Africa can become Africa is the richest continent actually. They may have all this. If you look at Angola, they've got oil there. So that's why the idea of the African Union is a welcome idea to some of us who are content creators because we know even just like having what the so-called uh, borderless um, uh, 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 Africa, it's a welcome idea because as we as we move around, we will be able to share lots of information about these other parts of the, of, of Africa. Okay, so each country is so special in its own way. So. South African students think like they are the best. No. So we are one. We are brothers and sisters. And let us just unite and keep the spirit of Ubuntu alive. That's the only thing that I can say. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Those that are, have bumped into this video. My name is Samson, the Roadman. I do travel videos. I move from places to places showing you guys a number of different things right here in Africa, Zambia, Lusaka. Yeah, so you see me maybe travel a lot and I'll actually come to South Africa one day to to showcase how beautiful South Africa is. It's a beautiful country, that's the fact. So yeah, I'll be going around very soon. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I love you all, all the South Africans actually. I love you all and all the Africans. So thank you so much. Remember to subscribe, like and share this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye for now. Take care of yourselves.